السلام علیکم دے اسٹوڈنٹس آئی ایم انجم شفیق شور پالوجی ٹیچر فار کریٹ الیون اینڈ ٹوڈے آئی ایم گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس دا ریمیننگ ٹاپک آف نیوکلیس سو لیٹس موو ٹو دا کلاس پارٹ سو نیوکلیس So we were discussing the components of nucleus. So why is this start karte? Components of nucleus. So dear students, uh, there are four components of nucleus. namely number 1 is nucleoplasm which we have discussed in the previous lecture it consists of the soluble sap okay of nucleus Number two, we have discussed the nuclear envelope, or the nuclear membranes, clear? Inner membrane and outer membrane, nuclear pores, number of nuclear pores, their importance, their shapes. And now number three, third part, important part is the nucleolus the nucleolus clear dear students nucleolus ko uh, discuss karne se pehle do cheeze aap se share karta chalu first thing that the nucleus can only be seen in a non dividing cell okay koi aisa cell jis pe bhi cell division start nahi hui ya jo resting condition bhi hai to uske dar aapko nucleus nazar aa sakta hai theek hai in a non dividing cell there are no chromosomes visible rather there are visible thread like structures or thread like material called chromatin which is called chromatin clear so ek non dividing cell mein dear students nucleus to nazar aayega lekin usme chromosomes visible nahi hote balki thread like structure nazar aayenge hame material nazar aayega jisko hum chromatin kehte hain clear during cell division jab cell division start hoti hai during saltation the nuclear membrane ruptures and the nucleus 
is not visible to a dividing cell jab cell division start ho chuki during pro phase the nuclear membranes they are disrupted they are disorganized to us waqt jo hai hame nucleus nazar nahi aayega and during uh, cell division the chromatin condenses into chromosomes clear to jo chromatin jo thread like material tha wo condense karke chromosomes bana dega so that was uh, important regarding the mcqs now the nucleus so in nucleus there is present non membranous darkly stained body called nucleolus clear to nucleus ke andar ek non membrane bounded डार्कली स्टेड बॉडी एक स्ट्रक्चर मौजूद होता है उसको हम कहते हैं न्यूक्लियोलस एंड स्टूडेंट्स द न्यूक्लियोलस इज द साइट और स्ट्रक्चर वेयर राइबोसोमल आर एन ए हमने पढ़ा था चैप्टर नंबर टू के एंड सेकेंड लास्ट टॉपिक में ठीक तो राइबोसोमल आर एन ए इज सिंथसाइज एंड स्टोर्ड क्लियर यहां पर राइबोसोमल आर एन ए सिंथसाइज भी होगा और स्टोर भी होगा क्लियर एंड द न्यूक्लियस मे कंटेन वन और टू न्यूक्लियल आए एक न्यूक्लियस भी एक न्यूक्लियल आए न्यूक्लियोलस भी हो सकता है या फिर दो भी हो सकते हैं न्यूक्लियल आए ठीक ठीक है नाउ the regions of nucleolus so as far as regions are concerned so there are two main regions two main regions in nucleolus number 1 is the central fibril area the central fibril area it contains heavy molecular weight rna and ribosomal dna clear and the second region is peripheral granular area or region that contains precursors of ribosomes clear that contains the precursors of ribosomes 
नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू ड्रॉ द डायग्राम ताकि सारे जो कुछ भी अब तक हमने पढ़ा उसको क्लियर किया जा सके so this is the diagram of nucleus the nuclear pores these are the nuclear pores and that is the outer nuclear membrane the inner nuclear membrane here is present the dark stained non membranous body that is the nucleolus and uh, it contains जस्ट इन ऑर्डर टू कम्प्लीट इट्स द कॉन्टेंट्स मैं यहाँ पर क्रोमोसोम शो कर रहा हूँ अदरवाइज हम बात कर चुके हैं कि नॉन डिवाइडिंग सेल में क्रोमोसोम नहीं बल्कि इस तरह थ्रेड लाइक स्ट्रक्चर नजर आएंगे थ्रेड लाइक मटीरियल नजर आएगा एंड ऑल्सो देर आर प्रेजेंट समाइबोसोम्स एंड एन साइम्स सो दिस इज अ स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ न्यूक्लियस this is outer nuclear membrane and this one is inner nuclear membrane and these are the nuclear pores that one is chromatin and this is the chromosome nucleolus and uh, the ribosomes yeah and now here i'm going to draw the nucleolus now this is nucleolus central fibril area and the peripheral granular region clear this one is peripheral granular area or region uh, which consists of the precursors of ri ribosomes and this is the central fibril area yeah so this is the structure of nucleolus ab aate hain students ab mazid 
اگلے ٹاپک کی طرف ایک اور چیز یاد رکھیے گا دا کروماتھن دا کروماتھن از کمپوز آف نمبر ون ڈی این اے اینڈ نمبر ٹو از دا پروٹین پروٹین از دا ہسٹون کلیئر ہسٹون پروٹین ہوتی ہے اپ ٹو فورٹی پرسینٹ از ڈی این اے اینڈ اپ ٹو سکسٹی پرسینٹ اٹ کنسٹ آف دا پروٹینس اینڈ دیئر اسٹوڈنٹس ناؤ the third fourth part that is the chromosomes is the fourth portion of uh, the nucleus the fourth component the first one nucleoplasm the second is nuclear envelope the third one is nucleolus and the fourth one is chromosomes so the condensed condensed chromatin is called a chromosome okay and jab chromatin to is as so this is thread like material which is called chromatin and one it condenses when it condenses it forms so is tarah se condense ho raha hai sukad raha hai so this becomes a chromosome clear this is a chromosome or chromosome distress these are the short arms short arms and these are the long arms clear and that point is centromere clear so the chromosome it consists of a centromere centromere uh, it is basically the condensed portion of chromatin where the chromatids are attached jahan par chromatids attach hote hain and centromere has a protein called kinetochore where spindle fibers are attached okay so yes let's suppose these are the two chromatids so the chromatids the chromatids are attached to each other from the centromere and this is the centromere extension from the outside where the spindle fiber is attached to each other so it's called kinetochore clear? 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 اور اسی طرح سے دا نمبر آف کروموسوم ان ایچ آرگنزم از اسپیسیفک اٹ از فکسڈ سو ان ہیومنس نمبر آف کروموسومس اٹ از امپورٹنٹ ریگارڈنگ دا ایم سی کیوز ان ہیومنس دا ہیومن کنٹینس forty six chromosomes clear 
chimpanzee contains 48 chromosomes potato it contains 48 chromosomes the fruit fly which is called as drosophila melanogaster as it is biological and we have to underline it so it contains eight chromosomes here and uh, the garden pea it consists of 14 chromosomes as far as uh, frog is concerned rana tigrina it consists of 26 chromosomes here and dear students a number of other examples are also here so these uh, number of chromosomes are important regarding the MCQs this one is a coach is yaad rakhi ka ye jo number of chromosome humne yahan pe likha hai ye somatic cells ke andar hai hum isse previous bhi baat kar chuke hain chapter number 2 mein nucleic acids ke hawale se wahan par humne baat ki thi ke diploid aur haploid ki theek hai so diploid cell kise kehte hain jisme chromosomes paired hote hain ye concept sare zindagi aage kaam aana hai isko please make sure kar le ki ye aapko clear hai diploid cell as a cell the cell having paired chromosomes this make chromosomes paired honge usse kehte hain diploid and it is represented by 2n clear jaise ki hamare jitne somatic cells hote hain and like the skin cell or the ear cell or the heart cell all these are diploid cells and number 2 is the haploid cell so as a cell जिसमें अनपेयर्ड क्रोमोसोम्स होंगे दैट हैव अनपेयर्ड क्रोमोसोम्स लाइक द गैमिट्स मींस द स्पर्म्स और द एग सेल्स क्लियर एंड ऑल द सोमेटिक सेल्स सो दैट इज एग्जांपल सो डियर स्टूडेंट्स होपफुली न्यूक्लियस क्लियर हो गया होगा आपको मिलते हैं नेक्स्ट लेक्चर में और डिस्कस करेंगे द लास्ट टॉपिक ऑफ दिस चैप्टर दैट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन प्रो कैरियोर्स एंड यू कैरियोटिक सेल्स सो तब तक अपना ख्याल रखिएगा अल्लाह हाफिज़